Are you a high value man? So I want to know. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, man. I'm sure you think you're a high value man, and of course, and I, 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 I would agree you are. So yeah. I would like um, to know what you think. Well, I mean, I, I'll be honest with you. That is the number one thing for me. I, I will not wife up a girl that has a promiscuous past. I just a promiscuous past? How many? Uh, if it's going to be a girl that I marry? I'm just really curious. So I'm just asking. It's not like I'm trying to. I'm just asking. A girl that I marry? Yeah. She's got to be damn near a virgin, man. <laughs> okay. If I'm going to marry her. That's fine. Yeah. Isn't that like, really selfish of you, though? How is it selfish? Because if she cared, like if it was the other way around. Are men and women the same? No. Are you damn near a virgin? Are men and women the same? Well, you see, but when you think about it, like on, I know on. you th th that's answering the question right there. Well, you guys are trying to subscribe the, same, the, st but... the female standard on me. And what I'm telling you is that we don't play by the same yeah, set but of that's rules. That's what I'm saying. Like, we're not different. I understand. But like, uh -huh. it's just it's just fucked up. I just you like know to know the number so I know what to tell guys. It's also fucked up that all you guys can make money on OnlyFans showing your body and we can't. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. right. So, so hold on, hold on. You guys are not complaining about double standards that benefit you, right? But you're complaining about double standards that don't benefit you. I would argue There's... that most double standards benefit women inherently. The only double standard I could think of that benefits men is sexual past. But everything <laughs> else typically benefits women when it comes to double standards. I, I, you can make I money, money on OnlyFans. Really? Yeah. yeah. As a lot of men, yeah. yes. Yeah. Uh, a lot of you're showing my body off. <laughs> yes. yes. You do realize that most of the Swing top earning creators are females, correct? Yes. Significantly. But there's, there's a lot men. of guys. There's too. a lot of guys. It's a oh, minority not. compared to the women. Yeah, but but not a lot of women make money Just because there. I that's can a, that's a, doesn't mean, here's the thing. Fact. Just because something is possible doesn't mean it's probable. The chances of me making money on OnlyFans, I would have to probably add some kind of value. I wouldn't just be able to, I wouldn't just be able to just sling dick unless I had some clout before. Like, it's men can't just open up OnlyFans and sell feet pictures. Women can't. You know? <laughs> It's not about some pictures <laughs> only. It, you don't even need to show anything as long as you're confident and pretty. That's it. No, but as it doesn't a, work as, the other as way a around. Man, as a man. It does. It, a lot of guys not even. You, okay, you, you do realize that. Let's body, say we took away line. the male dollar from the sex industry, only fans, porn, whatever it may be, and we let women only pay. The market would crash in one day. I agree. <laughs> so for you guys to sit there and say, "Well, you can do it too." Sure, I can do it too, but I'm not going to be nearly as successful. Yeah, your okay. audience will be guys, but. Yeah. Yeah. I will not be able to command there's nearly a, the same amount of uh, attention, okay, income, I, I yeah. etc. It, it, so Russia. we're not the same at all. So you're saying it's Kanitsu selfish. Guys. I would argue that women are way more selfish when it comes to mate selection than men are. Women want a man that's better than them in almost every regard. So who's really the selfish one? I, I mm. do. I want a man that's better than me. Okay. I want so, to put my feminine energy. I need a man. I a man. totally understand yeah. your points, but I'm just saying it's selfish. <laughs> That's it. I Wait. mean, it, okay. So, it's a selfish thought to have. Well, my thing is, you can say, here's the difference between men and women. <laughs> I'm not saying, I'm just, that's how the world works. That's like, how the world it's works. Fine. It's well, like, it's, that's just how it is. I totally understand that. I'm just saying it's selfish. Here's that's the thing. I'm saying. Men have to earn the ability to be selfish. Women just naturally are. A woman is born with her value. 21 years old, hasn't accomplished anything in life, can still go on a boat with multimillionaires and be involved in, you know, luxury parties, meeting celebrities, whatever. A man, he can't get that kind of access until he builds himself up to become a somebody where he's invited to these situations. Mm -hmm. So we're not the same to go back to what you're saying. Well, that's not fair. Or why, why well, does it matter? His body count? Well, his body count doesn't matter because he has to work to get his body count. You guys don't. A girl can go into a club and be like, ah, and some guy will still sleep with her. If I go into a club and go, ah, I'm gonna go to jail. It's not the same. We don't. We don't play by I the rules. I never said rules. we were the same. But you're saying, oh, it's selfish, as if it's like negative. And what I'm saying is that women are naturally selfish. Men have to earn the ability okay. to be selfish. All right. So the only reason I'm even in a position where I could say I want a girl that's damn near a virgin is because I busted my ass to get to a certain level to demand that. But I can't do that unless I become somebody. Whereas a woman can demand a top shelf guy for just existing. And I accept that reality. Yeah. But do I sit true. there and say it's just that's the selfish? But I'm not telling you in that way. Tampoco así, bro. Calm down. No, I'm calm just down, no. Down, well, I'm just down. telling. But do you see how ridiculous you sounded earlier? That's selfish. I'm just mimicking you. <laughs> we don't call you selfish. <laughs> so what's a high number for a woman? There's three men here. Answer, I would like to know. I feel, just... like, I feel like ten is. Anything in the double digits is okay. probably just asking. You might disqualify yourself from a. a, a I definitely disqualify myself right now. Yeah. I'm just asking. Well, serious I'm, question. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm, well, I wasn't. I'm not gonna lie about my about you. I just don't care. I'm, I'm, I'm saying asking. a lot of guys would not. Yeah, I'm the ten is a safe for real. Like, yeah. I just want to. I feel like I feel like ten is an honest number on the macro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. 
the no, better a man is with women, the more options he has, the more attractive he has, the more money he has, and the more status he has, the more he's going to be picky about a woman's past. Because he has a lot to lose. Look at Will Smith. Jada Pinkett Smith is over here making him look like a fucking idiot. Oh, we got into a... What entanglement. Entanglement. <laughs> That's hilarious. Like, female promiscuity ru ruins relationships and embarrasses both parties in the relationship. It's not that big a deal if a guy cheats on his girl. Tiger Woods did it, eh. Kobe did it, eh. Still great, man. No one really gives a fuck, right? But when a woman cheats, it's a problem. Because women are, you know, typically more monogamous than men are. That's men are designed to be promiscuous. Women are not. Women typically, if she truly loves and admires, respects her man, wants to be with that man. Sure. If the sex is good. What was that? If the sex is good, yeah. <laughs> if it's bad, I'm just not in that relationship. If I can't connect with you emotionally, physically, sexually, everything, I'm just out. The only reason it looks bad when yeah. a woman is it looks bad, but... is because it is a damage to the man's ego. It's embarrassing. Mm -hmm. That's the only reason it looks bad. Really? That's kind of what he just said. So, yeah, I agree. Well, actually, there's a deep-rooted biological different. reason yeah. for it. Um, a woman that's promiscuous, you cannot ensure paternity. So, so it, we'll, we'll go back here. You know, obviously, we're in 2022. I thought about that, too. We have paternity tests, right? So, a man's able to figure out the kid is his. But before all that, how would a man be able to mm -hmm. figure out which woman is worth mating with and, like, giving her his resources? Well... The guys are naturally inclined to not want to wife up girls that are hoes. And the reason for that is because you can't ensure that the child is yours. It's a deep-rooted biological urge. Just mm -hmm. like you guys want a guy that's tall, strong, masculine. These are all traits that you need for survival, correct? Mm -hmm. Right? Women look typically for survival value. Men look for replication value. Can this right. woman give me attractive children? And most importantly, are the children mine? Okay. So Men don't ask for much. <laughs> okay. So previously you called that selfish, but it's a biological urge. Yes. Okay, so then it's not selfish. It's a biological urge. Well, you can have that discussion with her. <laughs> she was the one that said it. I was I was saying that it's a biological urge, but what I'm arguing is that women are naturally selfish when it comes from a sexual standpoint. Men have to earn that ability to be selfish. Is it selfish or is it selectiveness? However you want to phrase it, but regardless, <laughs> like we're selfish and selective about certain traits in the opposite gender. I'm just arguing that a woman, a, a man's conditions right going back to conditional are far less than a woman's but since we ask for way less don't be a hoe it has way more weight because since men ask for so little i agree versus yeah. women ask for way more so i find a funny woman say well i want you to be tall charming good looking make money who said uh, women want that who said you keep saying women want taller stretcher whatever the maybe women don't okay. want that it let is, me uh it, let, it is true i've interviewed yeah. almost 1700 women on the show i don't want taller fantastic I don't want... that's you I've interviewed almost 1,700 women but on the show. Not everyone. Overwhelmingly, they want a man who's taller, ambitious, confident, more money than them, better than them on almost every metric. You might be different. You might not care about any of that stuff, but most women do. Yeah. So what I'm saying is that since what most women want all these things, I just find it funny that they say, and I want you to be loyal to me. But women bring different things to the table. Like what? You could even list three. Right. Okay. You want to seep around. Do we not bring like the most like loyalty ever? Like are women not ever? fiercely loyal to you when they're really in love with you? They're not fiercely loyal. Well, that's the kind of women you're attracting. We also <laughs> provide children. We provide genetics. We take I care of the question. house. We cook. We clean. You know, and this is all like debating if like you pick that girl, like that girl that does those things. Mm -hmm. And she brings those things to the table and she does those things really well. Like, can you do those things really well? The like same way that you can go out and hunt and do well, whatever. Here's the difference. A lot of other girls can do that yeah. too, which is why I agree. Polygamy There's is a mad, thing. And, and that can, I agree. There's way more girls out there than well. there are I can guys. Hire a maid, I can hire a nanny, I can hire all that stuff. Yeah, I hope like, so. I hope that happens. Everything, so. <laughs> ladies, here's the truth. Besides children, everything a woman does can be outsourced. Okay, but every, but, but yeah, and that's true. Besides, that's true. But for a man, right? Yeah, for a man, a man needs peace. He that, needs more. He needs like it can be outsourced. It can be outsourced to a certain extent, though. It it's not gonna stop your want. Women are the ones that look for long term relationships and security. You can't get that unless you have a man. But yes. everything a woman typically provides can be outsourced. That's what I'm trying to say. Even the mm -hmm. same with the guy too. What? Just, yeah. The same I mean, with the guy too. Can if you're be if you're too. wealthy enough, if you've got your bag enough, like you technically you can. can't outsource security. Yeah. I can't secure myself. Here's, <laughs> yes, I feel hey, like you can, you can say Wait, you can well, what secure kind yourself. Of security is the man bringing Nothing. exactly like money, this. Enough I security that none of y'all would have it. to have a money? fucking OnlyFans. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, no, think about it. Would you rather have a man 
that you were absolutely in love with and you were completely on on his mission and you wanted to be a support system of him and you didn't have to have only fans let's not fucking cap mm. None of us, even if i have a man have you have only fans by choice it's yes. a job it's a absolutely. job you would rather have a man today. that you're absolutely yeah. in love with I that's do making have a man i'm absolutely in love with i have to be up front with him to accept it two marriages one man same man yeah what's the problem so Something, something, something the obviously day. broken I'm there. Not, you married, you married him twice. Marry, I'm not no, going to marry a rich jail, guy you wanna uh-huh. know what happened to there, spend but. his money on me. I'm going to be the boss of my own self. That's why I choose <laughs> okay. my then career. Enjoy, then enjoy the cats in the box wine. I'm cool with that. It, I don't have a problem. Exactly. It's a choice. Yeah. It's a choice. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's but let's not bullshit. If, oh. if you could be married and have a family no, and a house and a life, don't you think you'd rather give up the only family? You have to have separate lives, guys. You have to have separate lives. No, I would rather bullshit. Absolutely take that over everything else. Yeah, every woman would take that over everything else. The problem is there's too many weak ass fucking men and not enough good men to make women want to get behind them. That's absolutely. But let's not bullshit. If that man walked in front of you, you'd be like, "Fuck this OnlyFans account." Mm -hmm. Like, let me get behind what he's doing. Maybe I can help in the office. Maybe I can help him at work. Maybe I can do this. Maybe I can give him kids. I'm gonna be loyal and fuck. I'm I'm happy to be with him. House is clean. I'm ready to suck dick. Let's go. It's not bullshit. But eventually, it's not healthy. It's not gonna be healthy. What's that? What's not healthy? Why is that not gonna be healthy? What's not healthy about being in love? You're a rum. Yeah, I'm, I'm very well, hard. Look, with your I'm attitude, you ain't gonna worry about it. it. Welcome to the streets, bro. Cool. <laughs> Somebody's gonna want that deal. In fact, most women want that deal. Let's not bullshit. If a man comes if through, you're a he's king, every... you would want a queen with you. If you're a king, you would want a queen. You don't want someone who's not liable for themselves. Okay, you disappear. Have something happen no to man. you. How can she take care of herself? What? How can she take care of herself? He You're not sure there. he so, had enough money so, that if that man, were to a happen. A man doesn't give a fuck how much money you make. It's not about you. It's about her. So, it's about me and secure about myself. She She's saying, right, for cool. example, if you leave her, mm-hmm. how exactly. she can be secure. No, that's a concern. Yes, you're right. Yes, However, yes, you're right. the man hardly ever leaves. And let's be real here. Most women divorce men. But so, they cheat that. So, they cheat that, so... No, no, that's if a guy not cheats, it's not even that bad. It's, it's about money. It's because if he cheats, I'm going to leave him. Look, well, if you, that's you. Yes. You're leaving him, but he yes. won't leave you. Because I'm not getting independent <laughs> of his money, that, right? But no man wants a woman with a foot out the fucking door anyway. So if you need to hold on to your OnlyFans account so you can show other man. dudes Maybe ass and titties to make a little money, it's bullshit. Find it attractive. Some <sighs> guys find it attractive to wake up every day and look sexy. That's fine. Hey, hey, talking, that's that's if the girl has OnlyFans, she can bring you a lot of ladies. That was your. Oh, your he's gonna be hundred percent now. How she bring other women? He's gonna be hundred percent now. How she bring, now. She bring lady? Well, I, was, I, was I think she means like funny. collabs, like other creators. Now he will be hundred yeah. percent now. <laughs> All right. Um, you were trying to say something before. I know you're trying to say <laughs> right something. now. Well, I was I was a little confused about what exactly is the relate what exactly is the relationship goal we're all talking about here are we talking about marriage kids, <laughs> marriage kids. are we talking about long-term relationships are we talking about yeah, marriage you know, kids okay so marriage kids this kind of type of thing okay that goes directly back to my point mm-hmm. of if you are searching for someone that is of equal value of your socioeconomic status the majority of everything that has been listed in this entire 30 minute conversation is not going to matter because you are going to share the same values I disagree with that. How? Because like you guys said, the original question was, would a guy that is in a higher status want somebody that represents him accordingly? And this is directly from a guy that is in a higher status. Yes, it does. You know why? Because it's going to fuck up his money. If you're somebody that doesn't represent him accordingly in the world, that can potentially tarnish relationships that he has, Mm. that can potentially tarnish the image that he has, Mm -hmm. and that can directly fuck with his money. And nobody that has worked that hard, has put that much work in, everything that he said, honestly, as much as you don't we don't want to hear it. It's absolutely true. Okay. Preach. I, but okay, so 100%, I, 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 I 100% I like agree with her. And I, I, and I have to get my point across here. There are men that make $30,000 a year. Mm. I don't want that man. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. okay. But listen, but listen, that man. But listen, this man, this man, listen. It's the truth. It's okay. dead ass. Look. De acuerdo. But De acuerdo. this man goes to work every day. Okay, he works his nine to five. He maybe works overnight. He supports his family on this 30 grand, right? 
the type of woman that he is going to be compatible with is going to make 30 grand or less. Okay. There's men that are going to make 300 grand, right? The type of woman that he's going to be compatible with is going to be less than that's not grand. true though. It, that's it's not true. It's completely Let me true. tell you something. It's There's women true. like we have heard in this table that want to feel secure for themselves. The problem with women is they want to feel secure for themselves and they make all this money and they also want a guy that makes a lot of money. That is not going to happen. If you make all the money, what do you need the guy to make the money for you? You want a different type of relationship and a different type of dynamic. You want a guy that is home, that cooks for you, that does certain things. And no. that is okay. No. That <laughs> I, I have to disagree with you because I've been in a relationship exactly like that and you got tired of it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> because nobody wants that type of guy as much as we say i want to be this you know this is the problem what i have with feminism I'm sorry, do, you, I, do you do you do you understand what i'm saying i understand why no, you're no, saying i don't think you understand what i'm saying i've been in a relationship where i've made more money than the man and mm -hmm. i felt secure and okay that's it, good no it was not good. Exactly my point. <laughs> <laughs> exactly my point. And, right. So you're only reiterating what I'm saying is that I the man the other way around, to be has, honest, the man always has to make more money than the woman. Yeah. For the relationship the man does to be not secure. always have to make more. It, it depends, again, on the type of relationship that you want. I've known women CEOs that make a lot of money that they're okay with having, but there's a different dynamic to the relationship. I go back to that. Me, myself, the type of men that I want, I want a man that is secure, that can provide for a family. And historically, genetically, we're meant to want that. Like, think about us from a primitive perspective. I, I'm what, having trouble understanding where we're differing here. Okay, look at it from a primitive perspective. What the guys do before society, before anything else. They hunted, they provided for the family. What the women do, we gather and raise children. Correct. So, how, so that is innate in us. Where's the argument here? See, so, I, I don't, I yeah, I don't agree. understand where you're disagreeing yeah, I think, with I think me. We, uh, it's because I know why. Because you said earlier that a man should, wants a woman on the same so, socioeconomic status. You tried to make the argument that hey, he makes thirty k a year. He wants a girl that makes thirty k per year. The difference is this: okay. if the woman loses her job, he will be okay with supporting her. Yes. If the man loses his job, she'll be okay with supporting him temporarily. Temporarily. That is the biggest difference. So the point Correct. we're trying to make here is this: men. In general, don't care about a woman's socioeconomic status, her education, her earning potential. Those are all pluses, but they're not the main attraction triggers. What? However, on the other way, a man's earning status, his education, all these other traits that, you know, collude into his ability to provide do matter a lot. Okay, I believe that that is correct. Yes. To a certain dollar sign. What do you mean by this? To a certain dollar <laughs> sign. What do you mean by that? I mean, there are men who are not going to look below a certain level of socioeconomic status for a partner. And that is 100% correct. That is incorrect. The more money a man makes, the less he cares about a woman's socioeconomic status. Then why do Americans fly mail order brides in every year from Eastern Europe? Okay, that's easy. Gotcha, bitch! No, but be because, because, because men don't give easy. a fuck. Men don't. Okay. And don't care. Beauty, okay. loyalty, the end. You know the guys that care how much money a woman makes? The guys that are making 30K a year. Only broke guys care. And I'll tell you another thing about love. I That's say the this, truth. I say this all the time. See, okay, so you're coming from a love perspective, and I'm coming from a partnership perspective. And once you get past a certain amount of revenue, once you get past a certain amount of wealth, I'm not talking about rich people. I'm talking like, about I'm not talking about rich people. I'm talking about wealthy people. Okay. Wealthy people are not going to date lower than a certain level. You're, you're missing the biggest point here. Okay. Yeah. If a woman loses her wealth and her ability to provide, it does not change where the man sees her. I got you, baby. It's fine. However, sure. the other way around, if the woman is put in the breadwinner situation, which will inevitably do what? Put her in her leadership position. Yes. She will lose respect and attraction for that man. 100% of so the job. That, so your point doesn't make sense because you're trying to argue that at a certain level, socioeconomic, I, what I'm arguing is that in general, Men don't care about a woman's socioeconomic status, even if he doesn't make that much money himself. If his girl loses her job, he's not going to lose attraction for her. He might get annoyed a little bit. 
He might say, damn, I got to pick up the bills. You should get a job, whatever. But he's not going to leave her on the fact that she doesn't make money. But okay. the other way around, she will absolutely leave him on the fact that he doesn't make money. Okay, so, so Attraction is not symmetrical. Okay, so so we're talking about two different things. You're talking She's about She's talking revenue. about the elite. I'm, yeah. But I also right. call bullshit because look at Princess Diana. Hmm. And, Checkmate. and what happened to her? Maybe Elizabeth killed her, but it didn't change what Charles wanted. <laughs> but, but, did it want, did, but, but did, did, did it change he, what Charles wanted? Exactly. Did it change Charles' it choice? Change no. He, wanted. he picked her. He went down to wherever she was and brought her up. <laughs> men don't give a was. fuck. But men don't cheated. care. But so, then men, all men cheat. Then he, yeah. Right. But then he he publicly cheated and then she left and she was out of the equation. It didn't because matter. She was he never that her. important. Men don't cheat. They just exercise options, especially at a certain level. That proves my point. Wait, well, we, never, we never said that men don't have sex with other the only no, difference between a regular guy and a guy that has money is a guy that has money will probably go out who there is, and actually fuck who the girl is prince charles still with to this day i don't know who he's with <laughs> he's with the lady that he cheated on princess diana with okay is that lady of so lower socioeconomic status she's of the same socioeconomic socioeconomic status as he is because he brought her up correct no she was more than princess diana what was she before she was correct me if I'm wrong, but she was of uh, if we're going to use royalty, elite. yeah. A king can marry a peasant and turn her into a queen, a queen Boom. won't even look a peasant's way. That's Boom. the difference. Men elevate women status wise, women do not elevate men status wise because women don't even look that way, right? So, so, what are we arguing here? Yeah. so, so, so ex exactly <laughs> to my point that okay, but but it. That's why celebrities date celebrities. So y'all own the summer. But yo, 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 you know what I, what I don't understand? You got three multimillionaires telling you yeah, how guys wild, think you're saying we're wrong. I'm like, bro, we're telling you niggas don't care about money. It's like, they yo, you're hard. I'm not talking about care. money. I'm not Have talking about money. Movie? When you say things about values like body count and you, you, you're talking about how women are composed in front of certain people and mm -hmm. how they manage themselves, yeah. you're not going to find that woman Particularly, I'm sorry, on the corner of Calle Ocho. Actually, you can. If she's yeah. raised well yeah. by her parents, but, it doesn't matter. Okay. And they're going to value Listen. that more than her socioeconomic Facts. status or her Listen. education. Nobody cares. Listen. Okay. But listen. All right. Listen. Socioeconomic, socioeconomic status is composed of two words. Society and economics. Right. Mm -hmm. So you have proven that society is part. Yes. And economics is another part. So when you... When you pick someone based mm -hmm. on their society, like as in they're raised well, mm -hmm. right? Okay, to a certain degree, economics is going to come into it because when you take this person that has the society aspect, as in raised Have well. Have you ever had a dream that. <laughs> Chris, let her finish, bro. Go ahead. <laughs> the economic status comes in when you take her somewhere and she doesn't know how to behave. Okay. Okay. That's so, where you can train her. This yeah. is why younger women, going back to what I was going to say, this is why younger women are more desired because you can they're more impressionable you can a man can teach his girl how to behave in certain situations yeah. men are okay with being mentors to their women yeah absolutely. that's what that's what being a leader sure. is never not sure. never as a man looked at a woman and be like you know what i like her but her table manners are shit never yeah never no, we don't give a fuck even nobody gears, cares even gives the same thing don't it care goes with the same is the same no i care if i love <laughs> no. girl, i care i care yeah i care if they like you, I like you. That's it. I think we uh, made this point earlier, but just so you know, ladies, men want very simple things. Loyalty, you're not a hoe, feminine, beauty, and you have peace for him. That's pretty much it. You come from a good foundation. He'll elevate you and yeah. he'll train you and make you a better girlfriend. I know some of you guys are saying, oh my God, train. That's so misogynistic. If you want to go and be a professional basketball player, you want to train for a boxing match, etc. you have to train, right? If you're okay. with a higher status guy, you got to train as well. Okay, so who, elevate yourself. Who, who determines what higher status means? Because higher status for you is a definition that for someone else is on a completely different level. The market decides. Okay, so then who are you looking and money for? Is a, it, money is one, one facet of that. Okay, so then what really is at the, you know, the paradigm in bet at, at, at the complete bottom of all of this is who are you looking for you're saying you're a high value man and you're looking i never for... explicitly said that but go ahead continue listening. in general it was, it, it was insinuated okay by somebody else it was insinuated that three multi-millionaires were sitting here and so you are insinuating that you are high value men that is the topic of the conversation right what are you looking for correct so 
when you take that into an account, right, you have to look for someone who is going to be trainable. One, like you said, coachable, coachable, right? (laughs) Or someone who is going to be already your equal. And that's where you're wrong because men don't care about dating an equal women do. The, the issue here is that you keep using the female attraction triggers and trying to prescribe it to men. And I'm telling you, you're incorrect. Like you, you're saying yeah. because women look for someone who's bare minimum, they're equal. Men don't care about that stuff. Why do you think that there's a bunch of 18 year olds, 20 year olds, etc., on a boat, multi-million dollar boat with a bunch of multimillionaires? They don't if give a someone, shit about her education if, or her income, but she's around higher tier men. Why? Okay. Because men value youth, beauty and fertility. The other things you're mentioning, socioeconomic status, income, education, that comes after the fact. But she's got to be attractive in the first place to even get her foot through the door. Okay, that's why so I've always said there's nothing worse. The door. There's nothing worse than an educated woman that's ugly that makes money because she's never going to get a chance. Okay, so the woman or who woman gets that her foot through to the shut door. Is a woman on OnlyFans? The woman, the woman who gets her foot, the woman who gets her foot in the door it, it has happen. the kids, and um, then she gets divorced. The past might be a problem for some people. Asking. Yeah, because you speak about coachable. And you don't you ask. These women you, and... you don't ask. You are. You value yourself. You, they don't value you unless you value yourself. What are you oh, saying? Wow. I never know what she's saying. Yeah, I don't know what she's saying. <laughs> every time she talks, I'm like, what? Oh, wow. Yeah, uh, it just, just bothering me sometimes. Random inserts. I mean, I, I, it's, it's spiritual. Yeah, no, just, you'll yeah, just have random inserts. But I think what you're having a tough time grasping is that attraction is not symmetrical between the genders. It's asymmetrical. We value completely different things in opposite gender. You value experience, we value an experience. We value a woman that has a low body count, you value a guy that has potentially a higher body count from his experience, trials and tribulations. You know, uh, you value income and status, we don't. Like we look for completely different things. It's been that way since the beginning of time, you know? And you're saying, well, a guy should want this and he should want a woman of socioeconomic status and a guy makes a certain amount of money, he should want this. Should, couldn't, would are fantastic, but we operate on what is. What is, is that men, don't care about that stuff in general. I think personally, if you want to find a man, no guy, no friends. You went to Cornell, oh. Ivy League school, fantastic. But no guy's dick is gonna get hard and say, "Holy shit, go big red!" <laughs> I'm so horny for you. They don't care. <laughs> My dick. Because here's, a, here's the truth. Here's the truth. If a man says that, okay. that's one thing. I went to an Ivy League. I'm a higher earner, whatever. If a woman says it, cool. But eh, there's a girl over there. She's 21. She went to FIU. She's hotter. I'm going with her. Mm. Men look for completely different things. I think personally, if you want to find a man for yourself. Just is this very simple? What does he want? Is that simple? Sex I think you silence. guys, you guys put <laughs> your wants on the man and then say, "What does he want me?" We're telling you what men really want. That's it. That's it. It's not like rocket science. Men want simple things. That's it. You're absolutely right, and those are the first questions that you need to ask. You yeah. try to like when you go on a date with a guy, you just sit there and you just try to find out as much as you can about them, and then you can tell exactly how you can. Get that I'll guy. save you the headache. Men are very simple. Yeah. We, we all honestly operate under the same thing. The only difference between me and a more regular guy is I could be more honest about my intentions because I don't give a fuck. Yeah. A lot of guys think the way we do. All right. Like oh. some guys go out. The, yeah. Let's be. Yeah. If I if you ask any guy, yo, do you want five girls or one girl? They're gonna say five girls. Do you want to have money in fast cars or no cars? Money in fast cars. The only difference is that some guys don't have the means to actually you say know it. do it and and say it. Yeah. Most guys are monogamous out of necessity, not out of want. Correct. Okay, so what do you mean by more regular guys? Because you just differentiated, you just separated yourself and put yourself in a completely different class. What I am saying is that me and a guy that makes 50K per year have the same desires. The only difference is I'm able to enact on said desires easier because I have a socioeconomic status and a uh, resources to be able to enact on what I want to do to a higher level because I'm more attracted to a wider demographic of women. He wants to do the same thing, but he might be limited by his social standing, his income, whatever it may be. But if he could trade places with me and do what I'm doing, he would do it. Men are very simple, ladies. You guys are complicating this. So how did you not just prove my point that socioeconomic status matters? Because it only matters in one direction. Yeah. You're acting as if it matters in both directions and men don't give a fuck. Bam. That's all. Done. That's it's simple. It's simply simple. that. It's done. It's very what simple. Done. For the thirtieth time, what? men don't care. <laughs> yeah. That's all. And I'm not trying to be disrespectful, you, but men no, don't care. Men, men don't care when it. Okay, so you're telling me men don't care. Ever. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> they don't care. The yeah. men that care are the ones and, that and are so I'm going to break the third wall here because we've interviewed almost 1,700 girls Holy here. What I come to realize is that the older a woman is, no offense you, the more educated she is. 
the higher status she has, the more you know prestigious her job or whatever it may be, the more difficult it is for her to grasp this concept that attraction is not symmetrical. Because I get it. You were raised to think men and women are the same. Men want strong, independent women. Your education matters. You know, a guy should get turned on by your accolades. And I the don't reality think is that at all. We don't. Well, okay. you keep arguing for it as if you, you don't understand, but it's it's very No, I'm not arguing for it, but what I'm saying is once you get past a certain you age. know once Okay, fine. For age, level, whatever, status in life. Once you get once once you get into a different once you get into a different status in life, there are certain things that do and don't matter to people. And and, and that just all right. Well, let's, I never, let's I never thought I would be an only yeah, fan. Let's, let's agree to disagree. Uh, we'll just move on. I don't. Going, I, yeah, I think nowhere. Yeah, we're very fast. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Pass up our time. Yeah. Listen, uh, <laughs> some chats here. <laughs> all right, we got here. Love you, Mara. Justin and Fresh, lady from Saudi Arabia. It's too hard. It sucks to lose any. Uh, they're gorgeous women to the streets. Wait, I didn't get anything. Else. What? He, know, he basically said that uh, it's it, it sucks that they you, lost you to feminism and being independent and you know being uh, free, as you said earlier. What? Nothing. No, it's okay. okay. <laughs> it's all right. All right. Real ratings from Prince. Brittany three. Victoria three point five. Drea three. Nat six point five. Dira two point five. Marissa six point five. <laughs> <laughs> Natalie, three point five. Thank you. Uh, Malat, like four, seven. and Ariella, one point five. And you guys want to say anything back to Jabby Nuts? Your mother. Your mother. <laughs> right. It's a hobby. <laughs> hobby, Javier. Uh, ladies, what's the capital of Thailand? Bangkok, Bang Dick, Bang Tits, <laughs> or Bang Pussy? What the fuck? Oh my god! Okay. Wow. All right. If she has OnlyFans, she is not your only man. Okay. <laughs> Uh, and that's from Cam two times. Uh, congrats on your one million subs, my bros. It's so sad the girls applaud the Saudi girl for being on OnlyFans. How's that women empowerment? Just shows the kind of time we live in today. I'm scared for the future of women. Yeah. Uh, yeah real quick, I'll go around the table. Do you guys think it's? Do you think OnlyFans empowers you? I don't know. Not really. It just makes me money. Okay. What about you? Um, I think women should do whatever the fuck they want to do, just exactly. like men do. Cool, girl. Yeah, okay. queen. So you said no, uh, just money. Uh, and then you think women should be able to do whatever they want? Okay, fair enough. Would it be, do you th Unless also... Unless they're trying to get a guy, because I guess that matters to them. Okay, so are you uh, are you okay with... I, I okay, And I'm, uh, I agree with that as well, that women should be able to do what they want. However, I, also agree. I think that there's consequences for certain decisions. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, what are your thoughts on that? I think as long as you're honest and upfront, they choose what they walk into. Somebody doesn't want to tolerate it, then you need to know up front so you can make your decision. What if I told you that most guys don't tolerate it? It's just that they're limited by their options and they tolerate it at a necessity. All I care about is my guy. And he knows. He knew up front. He knew what he walked into. And that's it. Okay, let me ask you a question. Sure. If I gave him two scenarios, mm -hmm. you don't do porn versus you do, do do porn, what do you think he would prefer? Don't. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and I'm sure he's probably had that talk with you before. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So he definitely doesn't like it. No. Yep. So he accepts it. No, I never said he liked it. Okay. But he so, knew what it was when he signed up. So it's his choice is what I'm saying. Sorry. It's his choice by lack of choice. No, yeah. he has a lot of choices. He's yeah, a very handsome man. Yeah. Clearly, clearly <laughs> not. He clearly not. You and he wouldn't overlook that twice. if he had, if I he had choice. Shit, sir. I don't know if I you think, know. <laughs> I think that you're amazing. Yes. I think you're amazing. But. In bed. <laughs> that, I Go guess that's only. A, that's. <laughs> To be interpreted, I'm sure. He definitely sure. doesn't have lack of choices. I will tell you. That. I, I would say that if if you do porn and he doesn't want you to, he has lack of choice do to someone. I porn. I have hard. done porn. Oh, same thing. You no, did. it isn't. Is it taking dick on camera. Porn. Six <laughs> years ago has doesn't. anything to do with today. Internet's forever. Same shit. Yeah, same thing. Yeah, yeah no, same like a choice. In, in the eyes of men. In the eyes of men. And I know for you, way, it doesn't. It's, by the way, it's that's not, not the same, shit but... on you. I just do think it is the same thing. I mean, like I'm sure you're fucking amazing. No, absolutely nothing against you, but. It, it, it to some degree, if he doesn't like it or didn't like it, it is by lack of choice in some way. So wait, question. Mm -hmm. So why did you stop then? Um, because I only did like a four scene contract and just did my four scenes and got my clout and kept moving. Okay. You did only four was scenes. It? Yeah. Was mm -hmm. a big part of the reason stopping because your husband didn't like it? <laughs> um, no, we weren't together. I was actually single. Okay. Um, but now that you're back with him, like. Clearly, it bothers him. So, would you say that you're not doing it again now because he doesn't want to doesn't no, want you to do it? I just did it because I only had the four scenes to do, and I just did them, and that was it. It was a choice. I thought I wanted to go down that road, and I was like, mm, maybe not. Kind of stuck my toe in, and was like, mm, I'm good. So interesting. Okay. Kind of hard to just stick your toe in. Yeah. I... <laughs> oh, the she's toes so, okay. in there. She's so <laughs> many more, yeah, more than uh, a toe. Because, like I said before, I think your guy accepts it more out of necessity versus 
that's what it is. What do you mean necessity though? Like he because has to accept it. Or? In, 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 in an optimal situation, uh, most guys. I would argue if I lined up 100 dudes, 95 of them would prefer that their girl was not involved in any type of oh, uh, porn industry or sex industry. Yeah, no, he's a very yeah. private guy. Like he hates the fact that it has happened, but it happened. So it's like, yeah, I was truthful. I was honest. He didn't hear from somebody else. He made his own decision. That's on him if he doesn't want to accept something like that. I don't want to say this, but say it. You think he's faithful? Yes. Okay. <laughs> no, I do. That doesn't surprise me. Actually, he's definitely faithful. Hey, he's I believe that. Nobody's giving him more than me, hands down. Nobody mm-hmm. in any aspect, like not even just sexual. Nobody would ever give him more than I give him. So he's going nowhere. Man, yeah, a lot of confidence. Oh, yeah, literally. especially when we asked her what are the three things to the table, she couldn't name them. <laughs> <laughs> There's so many things, but I can't oh name them right now. Put me on the spot. There's a difference. Okay, he married you twice. Right. Goddamn. Yeah. All right. Uh, literally. <laughs> um, do you uh, do you think OnlyFans and girls being able to do what they want is empowering? Well, I think OnlyFans is no. It just looks so dawn upon. It's not empowering. It doesn't make you feel like. So why do you okay. do it? Because it it's, it's a means to an end. It's a means to an end. It's something. It's like 100%. for me, I feel like it's like a momentarily thing. Like I don't mm-hmm. want to do it for the rest of my life. You know, okay. I don't see myself yeah. doing it for the rest of my life. What about you? Is it empowering? Uh, no, not exactly. So why do you do it? To support myself. Okay. What about you? Um, Is I that was empowering? Em- I was empowered as a nurse, but I couldn't. I, at one point I was 33 and I figured, wow, I'm going to have to work another, another 30 years till I can retire. Mm-hmm. And I made a decision based on, I can't worry about a man in my life in the future. I had to worry about myself at that point. So I, I feel very empowered now. I was able to put myself in a way better situation, my friends, my family, and I live a better life now. So I do feel empowered. You feel empowered. Yes. Okay. I felt empowered doing both jobs. What do you feel more empowered doing? Being a nurse. Okay. But you still feel empowered doing the OnlyFans as well. Okay. What about you? You don't do OnlyFans, but do you think OnlyFans is empowering? I mean, in a sense of money, it probably gives them security. Like, that's why I would do it. I feel like I'd be happy money-wise, but like... So you would do it? No. I mean, I... You literally no. just said... No, no, no. Okay. For money, I would, but I would be kind of, like, insecure knowing that, like, my family could see this. So it's not empowering? Not really. Okay. What about... You don't do OnlyFans. What are your thoughts on it? Would you? Is it empowering? I don't think so. Why not? But I do respect everybody's choice to do so. I... <laughs> Got to put in that okay. nice disclaimer. Uh, okay. Of course, okay, I do. I feel, respectfully, listen, respectfully. respectfully, if you want to go ahead and do that, like nobody should stop you and you should be able to go ahead and do that. And if you're confident enough to do it uh-huh. and whatever you want to do, just do it. It's just not for me. And I wouldn't find it myself empowering at all. Okay. What about you? Is it empowering for you, Miss Saudi Arabia? It's very empowering. Okay. Uh, why is yes. it empowering? I am Haram. very proud of myself. Haram. 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 Okay. Uh, exactly, exactly. Because I'm just breaking all these cycles from forbidding stuff. And I girls shouldn't do this. And mm-hmm. girls shouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. And I think every girl has the freedom to do whatever she wants. And I don't think any guy has the right Haram. to judge. Okay. <laughs> That's all right. not Yo. funny. What about you? Uh, do you think it's empowering? OnlyFans? And I believe it can work? be empowering. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Why don't you partake in it then? <laughs> because I don't have a financial necessity for it. Okay. So it would only be done for finances, nothing else? I'm pretty sure everybody does OnlyFans. Everybody thinks OnlyFans finance. is so easy. It's to not, make money. It's not, it's not, easy. not Yeah, it's not, not everyone it's can not do easy. it. It's not easy. It's yeah. very, it's, it's a lot. Not, there's a lot that goes into it. To be it. very I, smart. I, I do know people that, like that are content creators mm-hmm. on OnlyFans. I, it's a job. It's, and it's, it's, it's empowering, empowering, but you don't do it. But, you, but you're yeah. not. But you don't partake. But you do think it's empowering. Well, my my skill set is better used in, in in other arenas. Yeah, for okay. sure. So, um, let me ask you this, and I'll go around the table. Do you think it's empowering to show your body off to strangers whacking off to you? And I, I mean, just being honest, do you think it is realistic? Because that's honestly what's going on. That's why the people are watching you. That is what is actually going on behind the screen. They're whacking off to you being naked. What is walking? Is off. that empowering? Jerking off. That in particular, <laughs> yes. Depending on where your mindset is in the moment, if you need that for your self-confidence and if that isn't what's what? empowering you and helping you, 
Okay. Yeah. There, there. If there, if there are women who have been disrespected and told their whole life that they're set. If there mm-hmm. are women who have been disrespected their entire life and told that's that their true. sexuality is something that that's they should true. be ashamed of, but they find the freedom to project all of that to the world and they're able to release that to the world and 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 disarm themselves of the shame of their natural sexuality and their bodies and be completely proud of just who they are amen absolutely oh trust me they're gonna release all right yeah they release some nuts Uh, so you're saying that that's fine and that's fine but you know what and, and that's and, and that's fine because at the end of the day, you don't know what someone has been through to be able to allow them to reach the point where they're confident enough to show their bodies to the world and they don't care that the internet is forever. That's true. Mm-hmm. You know, you don't know what someone has been through to come to the point to say, you know what, I'm not ashamed of this. And you don't know if they're looking for someone who is preferring and almost virgin. Mm-hmm. They might not want a Myron. They might not give two shits if a Myron is looking for them. Myron. Okay. Uh, Myron. Myron. Right? Okay. So at the end of the day, yes, I do believe that it can be extremely empowering. And it just depends on who you are and where you're coming from and what you've been through and what you've had to go through to get to the point where you say, you know what? This is me and I accept it and I love it and I'm comfortable with it. And I'm proud. So Timmy goes to school. Yes. Sees the OnlyFans page that yes. might be yours. Okay. Right. He's 15 years old. Okay. Gets home from school. Yes. Takes his pants off. Okay. Walks off. Uh huh. How is that empowering to you? How is it different from Timmy opening a Playboy magazine in 1979 and whacking off to one of those ladies in the Playboy Were magazine? Were you on the magazine? From because you made a choice, right? Mm-hmm. To expose yourself. Okay. To the world. Uh, correct. However, Timmy. Someone's yes. got to do it. <laughs> it's a dirty job, but yeah. someone's got to do Somebody it. Look, do it. Look, okay. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm just saying, sure, sure. It's it's kind of a dicey game to play. Uh, here's the it thing: really is. you you okay. cannot. And I, this Yolo. is very interesting that you brought this point up. I find it very interesting how women don't want consequences <laughs> for poor decisions. If you sexualize yourself as a woman, nine out of ten times, every man you deal with is going to sexualize you as well in reciprocation. A man cannot sexualize you or or uh how do i say this um objectify you unless you objectify yourself first correct that's the reality so correct you're saying society you know does these things and constricts women's sexuality whatever what if it's to protect them and the reason why it's to protect them is to keep men from giving them the evil eye and objectifying them and looking them at nothing more Hmm. than a sexual object what if it's to promote modesty what if it's to keep that woman's value high to a degree where people don't disrespect her if because let's care, be honest, they wouldn't own porn companies. There's a reason. Well, <laughs> I want to be pimps. Okay, but yes, th- there's. It's the truth. But, men are just as bad well, with this. Men are just as bad as what? Like as as promoting this whole entire stereotype in women that it's okay for you to do, but not for my daughter to do. But someone else can do it, and I can make money off her, or I can own a porn company, or I could own all these things, and we should just do away with it for everybody then. Okay, I mean, that's the way the world operates. There's drug the dealers, there's operate. people involved in all that stuff. But I, I mean, if I'm a drug dealer, like, and I and but I get arrested, am at, I going to get mad porn? at the fact? No. Never? But, no, I make just my asking. own. I make my own if I'm going to Okay, I'm just it. asking. But th- like that's, your number that's, kind of, for a woman that's kind of deflecting that the question. The point I'm trying to say is that if you're going to make certain decisions, right, fast money typically comes with slow problems. Be prepared for people to not respect you. There's a reason why when you go to a job interview, you dress a certain way. Why? So that you can get the job. You're putting your best foot forward. You're coming in a resume, coming in in a suit. You're well trained on the job, etc. So I'm not telling you that you can't do pornography, but it is ridiculous to me how girls think that I should be accepted no matter how I behave. If I put a certain light out there, you got to accept it. What if I decided I want to eat Cheetos all day, be fat, drink Mountain Dew, small weed. Play video games, and I deserve a bad bitch. I deserve a baddie. She's becoming sucking my dick on command. No, you guys look at me like I'm delusional and I'm stupid, which, as rightfully so, stupid. I am. I do not qualify <laughs> for this caliber of woman because I haven't put myself up to a certain situation. Mm-hmm. However, I find it hilarious that women think that the world owes them understanding, and you don't understand. I had bills to pay, or it was tough, or I had to do this. Blah blah blah. I'm not saying you can't do that. You can do it, but you need to understand that there are consequences to your actions. And women are allergic to the word accountability. You're saying be sexually free, whatever it may be. That's cool. You can be sexually free, but don't sit there and expect people to respect you. They're not going to. Okay. So again, your own actions in life have proven that you didn't want to go that route. Why did you go to Cornell? Why did you get an education? 
Why did you, uh, you know, strive to go to an Ivy League school? If society well, respected women, they would pay nurses more. So I didn't have to actually go into this. Uh, okay, well, Let's just be honest. Yeah, okay. Well, you could have, you know, tried to get a promotion, become a doctor, Promo- do something a doctor. else. So, but I, I mean, was a nurse. I took care of dying children. But I make more money being a porn star on the internet. Let's just, let's just call a spade a spade. Yeah. Because I'm, society doesn't give a fuck. They about care what? about respecting women like nurses, people that do this, teachers. They don't pay them the same as a porn star can make. So let's change that. Well, if you're so willing, limit, it, 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 well, that's a personal decision that you made where you're willing to compromise. I try. I went that respect route. I went that for route. money, which is fine. I needed the money. I couldn't afford. I couldn't support myself on a nurse's salary. Nurses make six figures. I made I live in New York City. I, I, I made after taxes in New York City about one hundred thousand dollars a year. That is in the top 15 percent of earners. I was never going to be rich. OK. On a nurse's salary. So that's facts. So basically you you decided. I said, yeah, I want to be rich. I, I don't want to be stressed I will compromise every single month. Where respect my, live paycheck to right, paycheck. from people, because let's be honest, no yeah. one respects porn stars. I will compromise my respect for more money. And that's fine. That's a decision you made. It's a decision I made. Uh, I stand by it. And, yeah. OK, but you can't so get mad at society nurse. for not I accepting it. with your comment that no one well, respects porn stars. No one does, dude. No one does. Even women in themselves. I'm not saying I wanted to be a porn star. I didn't wake even, up and even say, women in I'm themselves. When go they sh- to college and when be they a porn star. Talk shit about each other. What's the first insult a girl says? You're, You're a, a fucking slut. Yeah. You're a hoe. I'm for it. She's, she's, mm-hmm. The first thing that women do when they insult each other is they attack their sexual past. Women will sit there and be there, say they're empowered, but that's the first attacking point is, You're a hoe, blah, blah, blah. So let's be honest here, man. Like, it's, it's not a, a profession that's respected, and it's going to disqualify you from a lot of men in a long term relationship. So you can be sexually free. But you got to be you got to understand that freedom comes at a cost. No one is saying that they don't understand that. No one it just at comes all down s- to money at the end of the day. No, no, no one at all says that they don't understand the consequences of their actions. But I think that where I'm getting hung up on is you are generalizing so much. You say the women world operates this. in generalities. Okay. We have okay, to. Okay, fine. But All right. Women, uh, sorry. Uh, this. Too, too much work. Uh, this girl's leaving. She's emotional. Um, Miss uh, Haram. <laughs> so <laughs> get her out. All right. Yeah, just uh, make it quick then. We don't got to make it a whole, uh, you know, okay. thing. Just let her get her stuff and y- y'all could escort her Haram! out. Haram! And take her Instagram off the thing too. Yeah. Shorty's crying. Probably. Know, yeah. but... And here's the thing. That's sexual like empowerment for you. Yep. When, when you can't speak her. about what you do openly... And you you feel a certain way. It, it goes back to the biology, man. Women know deep down that yo, it, this is not acceptable for me to be doing this shit. Like it, it, they know it deep down. That's why, like, <laughs> there's why there's a reason why when a guy asks a girl, "What's your body count?" Whatever, they hesitate. They don't want to say it. There's a reason why when girls say, "I do OnlyFans" or whatever it may be, they're kind of hesitant to say it. Right? Some girls I, might say I it out have... loud, but deep down, if you meet a man of your dreams, you 